Once upon a time, there was a truck that wanted to rule them all. But it was held back by the very people who created it. Until now. <coughs> well, I probably should get some cough mixture. Hello and welcome to another SnowRunner truck video. This time, it's all about the Russian Voron AE4380. Now this has always been a decent truck, but it never really set my world on fire in quite the same way as the Tiger King. <laughs> but then two things changed. Firstly, the SnowRunner developers accidentally changed the steering to auto center. More about that later. While some people hate it, some fast trucks benefit because it helps you drive faster. And the Voron AE4380 is a speed demon. Minus Michael Jackson. The other thing is that the Rift map arrived, complete with three juicy upgrades to be found. The juiciest one, as fate would have it, was the missing raised suspension upgrade. And you know what fitting that means, dear viewer? That you can have the largest mud tyres available. Ah oh, yeah. Not the bouncy pillow star ones you get on the Tager, but still. 50 inch MHS2 tyres laugh at mud when paired up with raised suspension. And the IMZ8 330T engine, which lives in Zimnogorsk of Russia and is the best one. Running my container delivery test, which I talk about in my fast and easy XP video, the Voron AE4380 is able to challenge the Tager's time. In fact, I'm down to nearly 2 minutes and 30 seconds, which is ridiculous considering the rewards for the challenge. Who knew SnowRunner was a racing game? Anyway, that in itself is impressive, as the mission route goes past a lot of difficult terrain, shall we say. But what makes the Voron AE stand out is that even with raised suspension, it feels less like it wants to lie on its side and throw your cargo everywhere like it's having a giant tantrum. Unlike the Tiger. Basically, since the SnowRunner 5.0 update, it's become much more usable. Not all is perfect in Voron AE4380... Okay. <laughs> Not all is perfect in Voron AE land, it must be said. Though the auto center thing helps make it easier to handle, it still has a slower lock to lock speed than the Tager, which makes it less effective at quicker maneuvers, and it has a bigger turning circle. Plus all that delicious speed means you sometimes have to take your foot off the gas or understeer into a tree, lamppost, or someone's garden. Then again, being so fast without a trailer makes life a lot better with one. Although I do find I get stuck more with this beast when pulling the heavier stuff than I do in other trucks. In terms of upgrades, the Varun AE is actually one of the more versatile choices. You can have the crane and flatbed, flatbed and trailer, and crane and semi-trailer, so it can happily complete missions and mop up mistakes. There's even a big yellow crane upgrade for saving the day because nothing says plant machinery better than yellow. As with all the talkiest trucks in SnowRunner, the Varon is best served with the high-range gearbox, as it will smash through trees like paper and laugh in the face of mud and hills. But for hauling and seriously difficult terrain, it can pay off to use the off-road alternative, which can be found in Drummond Island of Michigan. This upgrade works with a lot of trucks, so it is definitely worth getting ASAP. Not that the spare wheel is much use in SnowRunner, or at least I've never really needed it, but you do have the option, and fitting one merely pushes the flatbed back a bit, as opposed to replacing it. Though sadly you cannot have a crane and spare wheel. Those who want to save the day, meanwhile, can slap on the fuel carrier or van body add-ons, both of which make it a lot easier to fall over, as you would expect. Plus they really, really slow you down. So should you use the Varon AE4380? Absolutely. It feels more modern and more serene than many trucks, both in looks and how it handles. Whereas the Tager and other older and less sophisticated trucks are unruly and can bite your head off. Still, you're less likely to fall asleep than in the ploddy Azov 6436. Put it like this, if speed is the aim in a game and you want to get places fast, the Varon AE4380's 4380 mile an hour top speed is going to be your best friend. 
Plus, I think it looks like a cool truck, and there's quite a lot of customization potential. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of another SnowRunner video. I know a lot of you are annoyed about recent update improvements that have done the opposite. All I can say is that I sincerely hope developer Sabre Interactive and publisher Focus Home get things fixed ASAP. It would be a shame to see the game lose momentum. But then games aren't usually released during a global meltdown, so let's try to be a little patient and hopefully all will be well. And now it's time, drumroll please, for my favourite comments of the week from all you lovely folk. Well, 99.9% .9 of you. iClickOG said, I'm the only American to get that Alan Partridge joke. Love that show, it's hilarious. Wanna go get a ladyboy later. If you haven't watched the show, that's going to sound really, really weird. But yes, I do. Also, a lot of you have had your say about the best scout truck, which is cool. Sadly, due to the 100 plus clips and testing, this video is taking longer to make. Sorry about that. I can assure you, though, that editing has begun. So stay tuned. Lights do not work properly on PS4, said about a thousand of you. Yes, this is a big problem. I think it's been improved but it's still not quite right. Let's be honest, flashing lights are essential, and I'm unsure why this has been so difficult to fix. Auto center steering is killing me, hate it, says Doug. Mysterious no surname Doug. Uh, 15 people liked that comment, so at least 15 of you agree. Personally, I think it's good as it helps you drive trucks faster, and I like speed not the drug. But then again, there was the satisfaction with the old non-auto centering system. Bizarrely, I read a statement where Focus Home said the auto center feature was an accident. <laughs> we accidentally changed the steering and didn't notice before publishing the patch on three different platforms. Uh, yeah, okay. So maybe it will be changed back. But then again, why not have a slider or toggle switch? Jay Lee said, lights, 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 lights. I think he's talking about the lights, but unsure. In my held for review comments, a folder I fear to check, unknown barcode said, good job, I just had my first erection in four months, thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure if he means good job, I had my first erection, or good job, comma, I had my first erection in four months. Anyway, well done. Not sure what I did, but at least I know my YouTube channel has real world benefits. And on that particularly long and stiff note, a huge thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Take care, bye.